Hello everyone, this is Damon with PixNub Software. This is just a quick introduction video to the new Easy Green Screen 6.5 HTML panel. Easy Green Screen 6.5 is compatible with CS5 and higher. All Photoshop versions will have the Easy Green Screen plugin in the filter menu. If you're on CC 2018.1 or higher, you'll also have an additional user interface under Window, Extensions, and Easy Green Screen 6. And when you open that, this is what that extension panel looks like. If you don't see, or if this extension is actually disabled, you'll need to enable the extensions in your preferences. So on Mac, it's under Photoshop Preferences. Under Window, it's under Edit Preferences. And it's under the Plugins section. And there's a checkbox that says Load Extensions Panel. If this is off, you'll need to turn that on. And then once you restart Photoshop, your extensions will be available. So when you first load it, it puts itself in the little pop-out section in the um, Photoshop workspace. You can actually move this panel around and put it wherever you want. You can also resize it as needed. And you can actually embed this right into any of your um, Photoshop panel groups and resize it as needed. What I like to do is actually, instead of putting it with other tabs, I like to put it into its own section in the Easy Green Screen or in the um, Photoshop workspace. And actually what I recommend doing is um, setting up your own workspace that's specific to Green Screen and just putting all of the items that you want in a specific workspace. And that way, when you want to work with Green Screen, you can just switch to that workspace. For example, right now I'm in the Essentials workspace, but I've also got a workspace called Easy Green Screen, which just has the workspace customized um, for any work that I like to do when I'm working with Green Screen. And you can see that in this pop-out panel, I've actually put the Easy Text and the um, Border Select HTML panels as well, and as well as you know brushes and some other stuff. So just set the workspace up how you want, and then once you get that where you want, you can just go into Windows Workspace, New Workspace, and you give it a name, and that way you've got your own custom workspace just for green screen. So this panel, um, this is mostly meant for, actually not mostly, it, it's, it's all developed around post-extraction editing. And so any of these um, workflow options, for example, if I click on these, they're going to tell me that my image doesn't have the Easy Green Screen extraction layers. So these are all meant to work with the Easy Green Screen non-destructive user or not the non-destructive layer set. So before you use any of this, you'll have to do an extraction on your image. Now these top four buttons are for doing extractions, and the two that say um, single mask and dual mask. Those are going to do the exact same thing as if you run Easy Green Screen Single or Dual Mask from your filter menu. And the ones that say Skip User Interface, they'll do the same thing except for they won't bring up the Easy Green Screen filter. I'll just demonstrate. I'll do the Single Mask and Skip the User Interface. So this is just going to do the um, Easy Green Screen default settings in the extraction. But you can see we didn't get the Easy Green Screen filter user interface to pop up. If I had selected the top one, it would have brought up the user interface the same as if we had a ran Easy Green Screen from the filter menu. And so now that we ran Easy Green Screen, we can run any of these items. You see that now everything is working. And I'm just going to um, demonstrate all of these um, workflow items in separate videos, but um, this video is just meant to get you started so you can understand how to load the panel and that you have to do an extraction first and then you're going to have some um, post-extraction workflow options to use. So make sure you watch those other videos where I discuss all of the items that are in this panel.